Good morning, friends, and thank you for joining me for a deeper dive into lesson 10 and 11. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the uh, covenant gift that God gave Moses, also known as the Ten Commandments. Now, I'm sure that y'all have probably heard of the Ten Commandments before, but I know even being an adult that I still get them confused sometimes, and it's hard for me to remember. So here's a fun trick that I learned in order to remember the Ten Commandments. So what we're going to do is first step, you got shake out your arms, get your hands ready, because all you need to do to remember them is have your 10 fingers. Now, and we're gonna have some uh, goofy little tricks to remember them. Now, here is the first commandment. You shall have no other gods before me. So, we're gonna use our first finger, and remember it's, you shall have no other gods before me. So we have one god, and that's all we have, one God. And you shall have no other gods before me. So God is number one. Number two, you shall not make false idols. So in uh, Lesson 10 story, we talked about how the people ended up making an idol out of uh, gold and were worshiping this idol. And God didn't like that very much. So a way to remember this is you have finger number one, finger number two. So commandment number two, and we have our idol over here, and we have our people over here. So you shall not make idols. So we're gonna have our people bowing down to the idol. If you're coordinated enough, you can maybe shake your finger as the idol, but you shall have no idols. Uh, commandment number three. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Now, we have commandment number three, and we're going to close our fingers and cover our mouth because we don't want to put the Lord's name in vain. So a easy way to remember that is to make sure we don't, we cover our, or close our fingers and close our mouth. Okay, can you all remember that one? Great. Now, number four is remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. Now, Sabbath is another word meaning rest. It's a day for people to uh, not work and to recharge because even in Genesis, it talks about how God rested and we need to rest too. So remembering the Sabbath day and keeping it holy. This is commandment number four. So what we're gonna do is similar to three, we're gonna close our fingers, make a little pillow and rest. So remember on commandment number four is remember the Sabbath day, and keep it holy. That's one of my favorites. Commandment number five is honor your mother and your father. So commandment number five, and this is a fun trick that I learned recently, that in American Sign Language or ASL, the sign for father is this. So you're gonna put your thumb to your forehead, and then mother is this. You can put it to your chin. So father and mother. So commandment number five is honor your father and your mother. Commandment number six, you shall not murder. Now, this is a, a tricky one to do with your hands, but here we go. Commandment number six. So we're going to turn our one finger into a weapon, like a gun or something like that. And then we're going to have people over here. So you shall not murder. So weapon over here, people over here. You shall not murder. Commandment number six. Commandment number seven, you shall not commit adultery. Now, imagine we have people here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you have two people over here who are committed to a relationship, and these two are going to stick together. And we have a bunch of other people here, but we have these two committed people staying together, and they aren't gonna commit adultery. Number eight, you shall not steal. So we're gonna use both hands for this one. Four over here, four over, or sorry, three over here, five over here. You shall not steal. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to see your three things over here, have your five over here, and you're not gonna steal. So we're just gonna steal our three. We're not gonna do that. So commandment number eight, you shall not steal. Commandment number nine, similar to commandment number three, and kind of four, but mostly nine. 
So it is, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. So you're not going to lie or create some sort of story about your neighbor that's not true. So what you're going to do, in order to not lie, we're going to close our fingers and cover our mouths because we don't want to lie. So commandment number nine. No, oh, wait. Yeah, commandment number nine is we're not going to bear false witness against your neighbor or lie or tell a false story. Commandment number nine. And then, commandment number 10, you can give me a drum roll at home. A little bit of a louder drum roll. Great. Commandment number 10 is you shall not covet. Now, covet can be a complicated word, but uh, what it means is always wanting something that other people have and not being content with what you have. So we talked about that in lesson 11, how... Um, or yeah, in uh, lesson 11, part two, how God wanted us to take what we needed and then take what we need and leave some for others. Because God wants to share God's manna with everyone. So we don't want to covet and take more than what we need. So commandment number 10 is we do not covet. So covet is going to be taking a bunch of things. I could be taking this picture. I could be taking this coffee cup. I could be like, ooh, I want this mask. Yeah, we're not going to be doing that. So we don't want to covet. So we don't want to be taking a bunch of other people's things. We want to be content with what we have. And those are the 10 commandments. So we're going to do a speed run through all of them. So commandment number one, you shall, not have, you shall have no other gods before me. Commandment number one. Commandment number two, you shall not make idols, false idols. Commandment number three, you shall not take the Lord's name in vain. Number four, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Commandment number five, honor your father and your mother. Commandment number six, you shall not murder. Commandment number seven, you shall not commit adultery. Commandment number eight, you shall not steal. Commandment number nine, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. And then commandment